2. The Cabal Secret Political Clique or Faction It will eventually become quite clear, but for now we can refer to the evil forces as the Cabal, or the Elite. Some great video series has been done in this regard. Fall of the Cabal, by Janet Asabar. Many others have done great research. Normally coined, The Awakening. The topic is huge, with the historical and political meddling dating back to thousands of years, but we will skip through, as the who and the why will become clear. This is to guide you on your journey. You will have to sharpen up on the Jesuit order, Freemasons, and the Deep State. It is important that we are familiar with their knowledge, rituals, beliefs, and power triangles. Very similar to company organization pyramids. Unfortunately, we are mostly dealing with cabal puppets. It is at the top where it starts getting more interesting. You will hardly see the real people in charge. The 33 degree mason is as high as you can go in mainstream Freemasonry. Unfortunately where one power triangle stops the next begins and yes, eventually it goes all the way to the very top. The devil himself. To list but a few secret order societies. Illuminati. The Bilderberg Group. The German Thule Society. Committee of 300. The Order of the Skull and Bones. Bohemian Club. Club of Rome. Ordo Templi Orientis. The Knights Templar. The Order of the Golden Dawn. The Black Hand. The Hashishin. The Knights of the Golden Circle. Freemasons. I will add World Economic Forum for their agenda and membership. You will want to know more about the companies ruling the world. Black Rock and Vanguard. These companies do not just own most companies in the world but pre-elects the leaders of your countries. This is pre-planned far in advance. 13 Elite Bloodlines. Rothschild. Rockefeller. DuPont. Lee. Kennedy. Onassis. Astor. Bundy. Freeman. Van Dyne. Reynolds. Russell. Collins. One of the other major tools they use are NGOs. They are manipulating world markets, tax-free, under the guise of charity. Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation is a good example. The tech giant that planned your health care. I regard this as a self-study section as the amount of information is endless and not everyone's cup of tea. In short, companies were developed to take control from private or family-owned business to not only control world markets, collude on price, quality, and scarcity. They decide what you need and how you will use it. Ads push their products and politicians grease the way forward for them to get patents and expose you to harmful and dangerous products. They pretty much own and run everything in part one. Politics, media, Hollywood, music industry, government agencies, banking sector, big pharma and yes even most of your religious institutions. They control 90% of the world's wealth. Yet they are only about 1% of the population. Their minions and puppets are about 5% of the world and their property or followers are you the oblivious consumer. We will delve into who exactly they are soon. Just know that every world leader or royal family in the world is involved. Ask yourself why America was founded by Freemasons or even why 42 presidents in America are cousins and descendants of King George Lackland. It is one big swamp with no good guys. They sometimes quarrel with each other, but that is more of a power struggle between factions. Does not matter what country you live in. You are not free, you are property, and you are giving them power. They live like gods. Now we will have to tackle the most important part yet. Our hidden history and the devil's great deception. Please follow me to part 3.